everyone let's get started our day so i'm sharing my screen okay everybody so the continuation to the mongo db okay if you remember we were talking about one concept okay like uh, mongo db crud operations we have discussed last week and some other approaches too so today i'll be talking about some more advanced features from mongo db but i just want to confirm one thing from all of you like uh, typically if you remember when we talk about like in mongo db okay uh, what you think like uh, what exactly would be the default size of mongo db documents can be what i said you last time what maximum size of mongo db documents i can hold if you remember any idea yes kaushal good job it was a 16 mb okay so we'll be talking about in a similar line like how you'll be taking this into your consideration okay so that is the default size of 16 mb good job so today i'll be talking you towards the cloud environment of mongodb which can help you to connect and uh, understand how you can take this opportunity to the cloud okay so i request to all of you kaushal at least can you share me your screen i want to help you guys how you can set up this mongodb on a cloud can you thank kaushal so kaushal just open your chrome browser and uh, search for mongodb atlas yeah so can you see this uh, second option yeah mongodb atlas is this one so this is a mongodb for the cloud environment are you having this uh, google account if it is then click on sign up with google it is loading now so let everybody reach us till here okay so guys please type down once you reach till here we will tell you what next you need to guys do so i want to know uh, kaushal have you already created a mongodb cluster earlier Yes, we created at the Node JS session. Yes. Are you remember at the time of the MongoDB yes. connected yes. that yes. time? Absolutely. So that cluster is already there with you. So click on this option. I can uh, connect because that time, if you remember, we were talking about the MongoDB. Connection with our Node JS, okay. but today we'll be connecting with our Mongo terminal. So click this option. I can connect your application. Okay. 
sorry connect with the mongodb shell the first option yeah okay select uh, the no, no 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 in a drop down you select windows to what no i think you have selected uh, no, no no just say go back uh correct this again you say connect with the mongodb shell and select the second button i have mongodb shell installed here and select this drop down which version of mongodb you have it 4.2 i think you have installed 4.2 if i remember okay now you yeah, i think 4.2 only as i can see yeah it is 4.2 yeah yes it is 4.2 go back there yeah copy this url yeah now go back to your mongo go back to your uh, i would say rather no 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 i would say rather not from here uh open your folder where your mongodb is installed directly go inside the bin open the command prompt from here hmm now paste that url and change uh, my first database user name nia yeah, hit enter give the password I think it was admin one two three. Can you see this now? So you are connected with your MongoDB terminal here. Okay. Clear. Yeah. So, so earlier you remember you are connected with the Node JS, but this is how you correct created connected with what with your MongoDB cluster. Yes. Okay. Now you can search for the same. Just say use use or is just a show DB as well. Can you see this? My DB. Now try to perform the operations and check whether you are able to see those. Yes, able to access all. Super, well, guys. Others, please confirm if you all are able to, so that we can go ahead accordingly. Kaushal, can you tell once what are the steps? Kaushal, could you please repeat it? Yes. So first, login into MongoDB Cloud, MongoDB Atlas. After login, click on the Connect here. database deployment after have you logged in avinash yeah yeah logged in connect with mongodb shell right yes so here click on the connect button yeah and okay. after that connect with the mongodb shell yeah after that click on the second option i have mongodb shell installed
that select version yes select version so below is a one connection string copy that connection string okay and after it aapka matlab jahan pe mongo db installed hai wo bin folder mein jaake command prompt open kariye ओपन अभी वो कनेक्शन स्ट्रिंग को पेस्ट कर दीजिए वहां पे गोट Yes, फिर इसके बाद यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड एडमिन और एडमिन वन टू थ्री दिया था हम लोग ने उस टाइम में अगर आपने कुछ अलग दिया होगा पासवर्ड तो आपको देना पड़ेगा नहीं वही था करेक्ट हो गया थैंक्स everybody so once it is done then uh, we will be going back to our main code whichever we are planning to use now so what you can do kaushal is you remember like as we were talking about a 16 mb will be the maximum size let's try to add the data which can be bigger in the size compared to this what you can do kaushal is uh, get back to your uh, see this is the cloud environment okay so we can now switch back to our local environment so is your local environment local mongodb connection kaushal can i share your screen yeah so where is your local mongodb connection here na so do one thing open the another command prompt open the other command prompt yeah from here okay so just go behind that do you see there is one file name called mongo s mongo files mongo files no no don't 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 double click on anything just see there is a file called mongo files yeah so this is basically known as called grid fs what we call grid fs so grid fs is a tool through which you can install the data which can be maximum in a size the one which you say is not do one thing you know first step is like uh, you need to set up the mongodb environment so that you can get this access from anywhere so do one thing just copy the url on the command oh uh, url above copy the url no no no, no not this that does what you copy yeah and now go to the computer and say environment variables right click on your my computer minimize this minimize this and right click on your this pc and go to the environment properties and say environment variable advanced system setting yeah environment variable just Double, just say new and say path small b. No, 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 not this one. This 
it's a new and type path p a t h small p and paste the url okay and just go back back kar ek step back folder ha now go back in that now copy the url okay say okay okay now you say okay again say okay again below 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 there's a button below okay no there's a button below okay ne wo jo purana path tha na usko override kar diya isne oh just a cancel them then say cancel them just say again environment variable click on new click on new nahi to isko override kar de raha hai isme hi karna padega add karna padega just a new just a click on the new button uh, just a path p a t h okay now paste the url and say okay ye dekho isko override kar dega path ko aise kaise kar sakta anyways just say cancel then we can add that string comment variable or path pe double click karo isi pe mai add karte hain double click ha now you said new I'll paste that and say okay and say okay close all the command prompts whichever you have opened is closed Okay now do one thing uh, once you close all the command prompts now do one thing you can just close this browse yeah you can close this now close this also and now do one thing um not tell me uh, just close this terminal also yeah now i need one important thing uh, close this also okay now tell me do you have any zip file with you any zip file do you have it in your machine somewhere yes can you just open just tell me where exactly this is this one okay this one you have it okay yes. now i have already given you one folder called aggregation if you remember yes where it is i think that would be fine aggregation in, in maybe in your download section it may be where you have downloaded and extracted think mongo db practice date yes yeah, here this one now do one thing copy this aggregation.zip copy okay just uh, create one more folder just go back in mongo db practice create another folder here day for you can say okay go inside in day for paste it okay and now do one thing just here itself here itself just uh, open the command prompt okay and type one command here give the name call mongo files mongo but first make sure that your mongo db is corrected so just type mongo d just type mongo d enter clear because now since your environment variable is set you can start from anywhere just minimize this and open the another command prompt okay and type in command called mongo files mongo files 
Remember this command, you need to run it not through Mongo. It should run through Mongo file. That is a separate binary file. Mongo file is space hyphen D. Space give you database name with the name call MyDB. I'm sure that, it, that you do not have any database name called MyDB. Space put, yes, not having my DB as a database. Yeah, just a space put space your file name. What is the file name? Aggregation.zip. Yeah, and remember this is the way through which you will be adding the data which is bigger than 16 MB of the size. Okay, now hit enter. Okay, now do one thing, open another command prompt and type mongo, type enter and now you type uh, show dbs, dbs, see your new database name called mydb is created, just say use mydb. Okay, and now this is show space collections. Enter. That's it. It is done. So, guys, I request you to all. I will tell Kaushal what is these two files are and what the meaning is are. Let everybody reach us here. So, guys, please confirm yes. to reach here till and type done in the chat window. First terminal causal, it's Mongo only, right? That command? Yes. Mongo D. Hmm. What is the command for third terminal? Not this one. Yeah, this one. Hey, scroll up. Hey, it may. It's my agony. It was so DBG. I per UDP huge database name per so collection. कनेक्ट करने के लिए कौन सा यूज किया था इसके लिए थर्ड टर्मिनल का 
बीन में जाके बीन में जाके ये टाइप किया था मोंगो please let me know if you are done by typing done in a chat window so if you are done so let's what we'll do we'll try to understand what exactly that meaning is these two files which has created call tongues and the uh, uh, files are so remember one thing kaushal the difference between chunks and the files see the file which you have recently uploaded that certainly is going to be a more than 16 mb that means suppose it is a 20 mb imagine if it is a 20 mb so the 20 mb file okay the main file kept it under fs.files and this 20 mb of files get divided into multiple get divided into what the multiple collections and they get stored under where into the chunks to do one thing first of all you type db.fs.files dot files dot find round brackets enter do you see you have got what the file name are we clear what is the id name of this files that is called this one okay and what else you have it here come on upload date zip file name is called what this one so you can see it is a chunk size is almost 26 mb clear so that's what exactly your file is now this file which is actually 
getting distributed into the multiple collections. So how many collections are created corresponding to this file? Just type db.fs. db.fs. Chunks. Don't press enter. db.fs. Chunks. Dot find. fs. Chunks. Dot find. Dot find. Dot count. Dot count. Start around brackets. Enter. Total 108 collections are created. Just imagine this file has been distributed into how many collections? Or else you can see how many uh, documents called 108. Are we clear? Yes, Total 108 documents has been created out of this 26 MB of these files. Are you clear? Yes. Everybody, please confirm if you're also getting the same. And now do one thing press the up arrow key. Okay, press the up arrow key and uh, remove the count. And rather than using find, call find one. O capital. Enter. There's no pretty. Hmm. Go up. Go up. Keep going up. Keep going up. मेरा ध्यान से देखो इसकी आईडी और फाइल आईडी देखो चेक करो ये जो फाइल आईडी है ये आपकी फॉरेन की है जो कि एफएस डॉट फाइल से आई है उसकी प्राइमरी की यहाँ पे फॉरेन की बनी चेक करो जरा उसकी प्रीवियस वाली की फाइल्स की क्या जस्ट गो अप लिटिल बिट देखो ये ऑब्जेक्ट आईडी चेक करो हाँ देखो ये ऑब्जेक्ट आईडी यहाँ पे क्या यूज हो रही है एज ए फॉरेन की आर यू क्लियर इट और नॉट और इस डॉक्यूमेंट क्योंकि डॉक्यूमेंट है तो दिस विल बी हैविंग इट्स ओन प्राइमरी की सो कैन यू सी दिस इजिली आर यू क्लियर इट और नॉट यस क्लियर तो प्राइमरी की और फॉरन की में रिलेशनशिप क्या हुआ वन टू मैनी का What relationship? One to many. One to many. Are you clear? Kaushal, are you clear? Yes, yes, yes. Understood. Guys, please make sure that you are also getting the same and let us know.
Let me know guys if it is working fine for all. अब एक काम करो एक 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 जरा ये ऑब्जेक्ट आईडी को जरा कॉपी करो जरा ऑब्जेक्ट आईडी को नीचे 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 वाला हाँ ये वाला ऑब्जेक्ट आईडी पूरा 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 ऑब्जेक्ट आईडी के साथ फाइल साइड हाँ कॉपी किया नीचे आओ नहीं 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 हाँ पेस्ट कर लो इसको नोट पैड पे अभी कम डाउन जस्ट टाइप डी बी डॉट Just type it automatically comes down. Just type db. Uh, db dot fs dot uh, chunks dot find dot find. Start a round brackets. Curly braces. Curly braces. And paste that. Ha. Ab dekhna yahan pe. Underscore ID नहीं होगा बल्कि files underscore ID होगा. Have you seen that? We are not using underscore ID. We are using another files underscore ID. Okay. And now you say at the end, let's say dot count. नहीं ऐसे नहीं है ये बाहर है एक step बाहर है वो round brackets के बाहर है हाँ dot count. Are you clear now? ये ऐसा इसलिए मैं बोल रहा हूँ ऑब्जेक्ट आईडी के साथ बिकॉज यू मे हैव अ मल्टीपल जब फाइल्स इन फ्यूचर बट विच वन सो दैट इज हाउ यू आर एसोसिएटिंग दिस विथ ओके नॉट टाइप अदर कमांड कॉल मोंगो फाइल्स स्पेस हाइफन डी मोंगो डी स्पेस मोंगो फाइल्स स्पेस हाइफन डी मोंगो फाइल्स स्पेस हाइफन डी स्पेस योर डेटा बेस नेम माई डी बी स्पेस लिस्ट Space list enter. This will list down. What is this? Mongo files space hyphen d. इसको Mongo terminal पे run नहीं करना है, तो normal command prompt पे run करना है इसको. जो Mongo files के लिए run है तो Mongo. You may have another terminal open ना parallelly. Okay. ये नहीं ये तो मोंगो डी ये तो हाँ यहाँ पे नहीं ये तो मोंगो ही तो तीन टर्मिनल से ना ये तो मोंगो डी है हाँ यहाँ पे जस्ट टाइप मोंगो फाइल्स स्पेस हाइपर डी स्पेस डेटाबेस नेम एंड फॉलोड बाय दैट वर्ड माई डीबी के बाद में क्या करना है माई डीबी स्पेस लिस्ट एंटर तो दिस विल लिस्ट डाउन द नंबर ऑफ यू नो द डेटा बेस और मोंगो फाइल्स आर अवेलेबल टू यू स्पेस लिस्ट It will take some time. See, try it again. Hmm. Press it on Mongo DB. Go to Mongo DB. Mongo D. Mongo DB. Go. Where is Mongo D? Yeah, it's just a control C once. Just a control C. Ha. Look, it's not coming down here. Look on the left hand side. It's coming. There's only one zip file which is available there. Look. Look. There's only one zip file and there's a size where it is mentioned. You got it? Yes. ठीक है. So that's where exactly it is giving you. ठीक है. So now, if you want to search the file name, so you can also give the file name also. So press the up arrow key and uh, remove the list. 
and instead you type search space give the file name called a a double g r enter देखो दिख गया ये क्लियर हुआ व्हाट एक्सैक्टली द मीनिंग इज क्वेश्चन यस यस ठीक है अब एक काम करेंगे विल डू वन थिंग जो पिछले पीछे जो आपके पास एग्रीगेशन डॉट जेप फाइल नहीं है एग्रीगेशन डॉट जेप फाइल हां इसको डिलीट मारो और इसका नाम चेंज कर दो इसका नाम चेंज कर दो ओके नाउ गो बैक यहां पे नहीं मोंगो फाइल्स में हाँ यहाँ पे टाइप करो यहाँ पे अब हम लोग क्या करेंगे फाइल को डाउनलोड करेंगे डेटाबेस से लोकल डायरेक्टरी में टाइप मोंगो फाइल्स स्पेस हाइफन डी स्पेस व्हाट इज द डेटाबेस नेम माय डीबी स्पेस गेट स्पेस यूज़ जिप फाइल नेम व्हाट इज़ जिप फाइल नेम एग्रीगेशन डॉट जिप देखो अपने फोल्डर पे फाइल डाउनलोड हुई नहीं हुई हाउ दैट आर यू क्लियर नाउ यस सो इट इज डाउनलोडेड द जिप फाइल अब इसने क्या किया वाइल डाउनलोडिंग इट जो भी इसने क्या किया था स्प्लिट करी थी फाइल्स को उसने वापस उसको करेक्ट करी आर यू क्लियर एंड गिवन यू वॉट द सेम जिप फाइल बैक इज इट इज एन अमेजिंग नाउ सो नाउ you are having option to store the file size which are greater than 16 mb using what using mongo files isko hum log kya bolte grid fs what we called grid, grid fs fs guys i'm sure like everybody is clear and perform the same and let me know by typing done in a chat window please
everybody let me know by typing done if your code is working fine So I think we are all done. Okay, so Kaushal, you can stop the screen, and I'm sure that you are right clear about what we were planning for. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So grid FS, we are very much clear, and our next topic, which is in fact it's going to be very very interesting. So we are talking about something which is known as called indexing. What are we talking about, everybody? Indexing is very, very super power feature, which is designed and developed for the users, those who would like to improve the performance of their code. And we would like to encash this opportunity, okay, while implementing this indexing for the regular usage. Okay, so what indexing is really gonna do and what is the benefit of having this indexing? Okay, look everybody. To implement this indexing, you remember like every database will have a concept like an indexing. Because having this indexing, your database knows it very well about in which position, which data is available. Because typically in your RDBMS, you are having a by default indexing available for Oracle. But here in MongoDB, you have one concept available name called what? Everybody. Multi. Column index which is there available where in our mongodb and we will see how the multi column index really helps you to improve the performance of your code so i need few important things i need to have a new database name called what index db under this i want to have a new table name called what users and under this users i want to have some properties like in what name email uh, if you want Age. Okay, please remember name, email, age, 
SSL. Okay. And I also want one more that is called city. These five properties I want and every record and every property, make sure email, okay, and SSN must be unique. Okay, username can be repeated, that's okay. Email cannot be same and SSN cannot be same. SSN stands for what social security number. So I want total number of how many documents, come on. I want you to create total 10 documents with these properties out of which email and SSN must be what? Everybody, unique. The rest, all properties may be get same. You may have a two people, okay, with the same name, same age, same city, but their email and SSN would be different. Are you guys clear? Everyone, please confirm, are you all clear? Please everyone confirm. So please go back and create those 10 documents under this database name called IndexedDB with a collection name called users and let me know by typing done in the chat window.
Hello, only I can see one person has updated. What about others? Please confirm if you guys are done. Everybody, if it is all done, then can we go back and take a break now? Everybody? Okay, so we'll be seeing you back in another few minutes to we'll start our session. Okay, thank you.
Hello, everybody. So are we all back from the break? Please confirm, are we all back from the break? So now let's get started. So once again, Kaushal, can you please share your screen? Kaushal, okay. now uh, just, uh, yeah. So now just type one command name called db.collectionname.getindexes. Your collection name, what is the collection name? Dot get indexes, dot get indexes. So now you can see in get indexes, it is telling you by default index is applied on underscore ID. You see like here, it is telling you underscore ID one. That means, that means what? The by default, your index, by default your underscore ID will be indexed by default. Okay, so by default you have got only one index available. Now we'll be applying this index on one of the property in my application. But before that, what I want to do now, I want to execute one logic to confirm what exactly happens to confirm without indexes what challenges you may find. So just type db dot collection name dot explain db dot take question. Just type db dot your collection name. I think he got uh, this corrected. Meanwhile, Gaurav, if you can share your screen. Or Ranjit, Sapna, Avinash, anybody? So you have added all the 10 records here. Now say db dot user dot get indexes. Okay, that is great. Now you say db dot user dot explain. Explain, start the round brackets. And in single quotes, you give the name called execution stats. Execution stats. Execution stats, S capital. Stats, not starts, stats, S T A T S. Close the single quotes and come out and say dot find dot find. Start the round brackets, curly braces, name colon, name colon, Venkatesh. Single quotes because that is all the name you already have added. Okay, now hit enter. This explain will explain you how the query planning was happening. So just um, wait, 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 wait. Can you see this option here called total document examined 10? See this? 
total how many documents is the exam ten? That means it basically searched total ten documents. Are we clear to get the job done? N returned one. N returned one means what? The number of users it found one. So how many number of users you have a name called Venkatesh here, Ranjit? Ranjit, how many users you have it with the name called Venkatesh? Only one. Only one. So that is why I yeah. think N returned one. That means it is return only one record. Are we clear? But to return one record, it scan how many documents? Ten documents. Ten documents. Are you clear now? So you just imagine yes. a use case. You just imagine a use case here, Bank Ranjit. Like in future, if you have a millions of documents and just to search the <clears throat> documents, it will be searching the millions of documents. Don't you think it is a performance impact? You think it or not? Yes. It does. So how you can basically reduce that? So to make it, we will be using what the indexing here. Okay, so just type one command called db dot. But everybody, please type the same and let me know if you are able to see the same outcome. Which, yeah, this one. Everybody, type done once you are able to see the same result. Hello, Ranjit. So can you explain? Yes, sir. So anything is there because my internet connection is lost due to some reason. So can before that we have to do anything? No, nothing. Only this thing? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes, everybody are you all done okay so ranjit let's try to apply the index on the top of this so it says just say db dot users dot create index users will be a collection in create index at the round brackets curly braces okay and here we say the property which property name just say name colon one name colon one okay hit enter Okay, now you type db dot users dot get indexes. See, now you have got two indexes with you. One is called underscore id, which is anyways there. And now you see the other index name called name underscore one. Are we clear? And now you search the same user using execution starts and check what difference you see.
it's only examining the two records. So to how many documents is examined now? One. Or else if we have a two documents with the same name, it might search two. Are you clear now? Yes. So that's a beauty. So everybody, please try the same and let us know. Please everybody update me once your code is working just like in earlier. I'm waiting for all of you. If only one input from all of you guys, please confirm others if they have done. Okay, so now let's try to drop the index. Okay. So in case if you want to drop the index, just type the command name called db dot collection name dot. So in your case, it is the users db dot users dot drop index. Drop index and in curly braces, you do not need to give name. Instead, you have to give the same name. What is the name of the index which has been created? What is the index name?
after you check the index name when you say get indexes you can see the name there yeah the name is called name underscore one so this time you have to provide it name underscore one Is it in a single code? Hmm. Now you say OK one. Now you say get indexes again. Are you clear now? So while dropping the index, you have to give the same name or the one which you were giving it earlier. The name was automatically created. Yes. The yes. We cannot customize this. Very good. I'm waiting for the others. Please quickly confirm if the code is working fine for all of you. So what you need to do next here is see you are dropping the index let's go back and create a compound index compound index here the two properties can join together to create an index so just type one command name called db dot collection name dot create index index start the round brackets curly braces name colon name colon one comma age colon minus one age colon age age colon minus one okay so first of all you have to understand what exactly that meaning is when you say one that means it is indexing ascending order when it's a minus one that means it is indexing descending order yeah that means it will start searching from the descending order onwards just hit enter just hit enter and now you call get indexes same function get indexes. Can you see this compound index name? Got it? So please, guys, everybody try the same and shell. Like if it is working, same like any.
Everybody? Yes, everybody, all good. Now do one thing, Ranjit. I just want to give you one task. I want you to perform the same execution stats while searching the name. Please understand the requirement very carefully, Ranjit. I want you to perform this execution stats while searching the name. And then you try searching with what? With the age. Are we clear? And search with name and age both. How many options I said, Ranjit, to you? Ranjit. Search with name, with using execution stats, and search with what age, and search with what name and age both, with using execution stack. Okay, and tell me what difference you see in your outcome. Perfect. Everybody, so please try the same and let me know once you guys are done. And remember with using execution stats. Okay, and let me know.
everybody please let me know the status what you see Ranjit, any update from you? Caution. More changes this week. Can I take a look? May I know what happened? Okay. Can I share my screen? Yeah, Ranjit, you can. Okay. In my observation, there are two things. When we are giving name as first property, the second property is just taken as a default values. Can you search by using what name? Yes, name as first parameter. Okay. So here it will take us uh, automatically without value. So it will exhibit only two numbers, which has the name as part. Mm -hmm. So when we are exhibiting with the age, Will uh, the exhibition happens like normal without taking any index related things? Yeah, and the document. The dot dot and document. documents. Yeah. Absolutely. And next thing, name and property, it will take the index uh, name, name one, AJ uh, minus one, where you have taken the index. Okay. So it will only exhibit the match one. Yeah. So, so now I'm sure that you're clear now. Right hand side, the rightmost name if you try to search with, it'll scan all the documents. Left hand side, only one document together, one document. But if you search on the second option, which is your age, it'll be searching all the documents. So that is how I wanted you to experience. And that is in fact true. That's how exactly the search process works. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Everyone, please make sure that you're also getting the same outcome and type done in a chat window. Waiting for all of you to please confirm if your outcome is same as back in here.
Okay. So I'm sure like everybody is clear and understood about what we were supposed to do. Kaushal, what is your update? Gaurav, Avinash, Prakash, Sapna, may I know what your, is your status right now? Any update? Okay, cool. So, what we can do is, Ranjit, can you share your screen again? Okay, Ranji, do one thing. You know, like I told that day when we were talking about MongoDB, like in MongoDB, you can't have uh, what to say in your application that uh, you cannot have any property as a primary key except underscore ID, you remember? Ranji, do you remember that I said none of the properties other than underscore ID can be primary key? <laughs> Okay, now how, you, but using this indexing, it is possible that you can make one of the property as a what, as a unique, not a proper, not as a primary key, but you can make it as a unique. So just do one thing, just type one command called db dot users dot create index. Let me try to apply this index on where, on a email, db dot users dot create index. Now you say name, sorry, email colon minus one or email colon one. Okay, after that, put the comma after the curly braces and start another curly braces and say unique colon true. Unique colon true. Enter. Now you call get indexes function. Now you can see your email is also get added here. And it is also unique. Now you really can't make, okay. Now you really can't make email as a what, as a duplicate value. Now you add any record, which value is already there and check if it is allowed or not.
Okay, Ranji, so are you done? What is happening? Are you getting an error? Absolutely. That is what we were expecting. So this is how you can make the uniqueness. Others, please confirm in the chat your status, please. That's fine. So I think most of you are getting the similar error. Now what you can do, you unique. Okay, can you do one thing? Can you do one thing in a next code? In a next code, you do not enter anything under the email. Just left the email property blank. Add the new record without passing any email. Remove the email property. No, no, remove the email property itself. Okay, now hit enter. See, it is added right now. Are we clear? What is that? An inserted one. Are you clear? Now do one thing, press the up arrow key. Huh. So once again, if you try to hit enter, see the error is now. It is once again saying duplicate email ID, but the biggest challenge is Ranjit, right now you do not have an email ID. But why exactly it is saying email null? You know why? Because if you do not pass any email property, by default it is treated as a null property. So the first record without any email was anyways null value was added. So once again, if you do not pass, so the null and null again considered as a what is the duplicate. Are you clear Ranjit what I'm trying to say? Ranjit, are you able to understand? Yes, okay. Everybody, please confirm. Are you all clear what I'm trying to say? So if you even if you left this particular property and uh, try, your code is going to be sending the similar kind of error the way you were getting it earlier. Try and check and confirm and let me know, guys, please, if it is working. Waiting fine for all of you, please confirm. So how to fix this now? So to fix this issue, we'll be using one concept like in what? Everybody will be using the concept like in what called sparse. Which option is sparse. So do one thing, first of all, drop this index. Drop this index, please. The one which you've recently created this index.
if you drop the index so after dropping this index what you can do we have to use which option here called sparse which option is sparse so to performing this is sparse what you're going to be doing it now just press the up arrow key up arrow key up arrow key up arrow key where you created an index yeah with the unique true yeah after unique colon true put comma after the true no 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 within this curly braces comma and yeah. say sparse colon true sparse sparse sp no 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 sparse s p a r s e sparse colon true and now hit enter and call the get indexes again can you see this now clear now you try to add two records without giving any email and check what happens Guys, please confirm if you're able to see the same.
I am waiting for all of you to please confirm if it is working fine. Only one person is updated. So, Ranjit, are you clear about this concept? What do you mean by sparse? Prakash, Kaushal, what about you? All clear? Okay, cool. So, I'm sure like the indexing part, we are all are clear. Like what index does? And there are a lot many things are there which we'll be discussing it one by one with all of you. But I'm sure like whatever has been covered today, you all are comfortable and clear about the topic. Isn't it? Everyone? Any question from anyone? Yes, any questions from anyone? I know. Yeah, please tell me. I'm unable to hear you properly, Ranjit. Oh, I'm audible. But it's a little disturbing in a while. Continue. He is asking what uh, meaning of the age minus one. Oh, whatever I will give in minus the index. Minus one. Uh, not the minus one. Here the index name is minus one. Yeah, because this uh, internal name has been given. Underscore name has been given internally. So whatever in property you apply the indexes. So internally they give another name to those index. It doesn't mean they give this name. So they will rather give internal name like email underscore one name and so these names are internally given by the mongodb so the index name and your property name cannot be same are we clear Anjit? yeah okay. it's possible we can drop the index name ID this yeah, yeah yeah you can but you cannot drop the index of this underscore id because it is always being given Okay. Okay. Everyone, then the, I'm sure like everybody is clear about whatever has been discussed. So that's what we are keeping it for today. Then, okay, everybody. So hope you all enjoyed the session. So tomorrow we'll be taking once again a deep dive into this MongoDB to take this journey ahead. Okay. So thank you very much for joining. So we'll be seeing you back tomorrow. Till then, have a great day to all of you. Okay. Thank you very much.